Title, A Night to Regret Author, Buzz Stevens Once upon a time in the small town of Willowbrook, there was a group of four best friends, Emma, Lily, James, and Max. They had been inseparable since childhood, sharing laughter, dreams, and countless adventures. One summer evening, as the sun began its descent, the friends found themselves facing a night they would come to regret. Emma, the charismatic and adventurous one of the group, proposed an idea that would forever alter their lives. Let's go on a thrilling nighttime adventure, she suggested with a mischievous grin. We can explore the old abandoned mansion at the edge of town. Curiosity piqued, Lily, James, and Max agreed, although a slight sense of trepidation tinged their excitement. The stories surrounding the dilapidated mansion were grim, whispered tales of hauntings and unsolved mysteries. Nevertheless, their strong bond emboldened them to face the unknown together. As dusk settled upon the town, the group of friends gathered outside the iron gates that guarded the mansion's sprawling grounds. The wind rustled through the overgrown grass, causing the branches of nearby trees to creak eerily. With flashlights in hand, they hesitantly pushed open the gates and stepped onto the property. The mansion stood tall, its once grand facade now a mere shadow of its former glory. Broken windows, ivy-covered walls, and peeling paint revealed the passage of time and neglect. Undeterred, Emma led the way, her adventurous spirit shining through her wide eyes. The interior was shrouded in darkness, save for the beams of their flashlights piercing the gloom. Every creak and whisper of the wind made their hearts race, but they pressed forward, fueled by curiosity and the thrill of the unknown. Room by room, they explored the mansion's secrets. They discovered forgotten relics, dusty furniture frozen in time, and forgotten photographs that hinted at lives long past. As they ascended their grand staircase, their laughter and whispers filled the once silent halls, giving the old mansion a fleeting sense of life. However, their sense of excitement soon turned to dread. In a forgotten attic, they stumbled upon a collection of disturbing photographs. The images depicted a sinister group of individuals engaged in dark rituals, their faces twisted with malice. The friend's sense of adventure began to fade, replaced by a creeping unease. Suddenly, the heavy front door slammed shut, sealing them inside. Panic seized their hearts as they tried to force it open but it remained stubbornly closed. Fear clenched their chests as the realization sunk in. The mansion had a sinister plan of its own. Whispers echoed through the hallways, shadows danced on the walls, and strange, otherworldly sounds filled the air. Emma, usually fearless, trembled as fear washed over her. They were trapped in a nightmarish labyrinth from which there seemed to be no escape. Together, they retraced their steps, desperate to find a way out. Each door they tried was locked, every window barred shut. Time seemed to lose all meaning as they wandered the mansion's winding corridors, their hopes fading with each passing minute. But in their darkest moment, when despair threatened to consume them, Max stumbled upon a hidden door concealed behind an ancient tapestry. With renewed hope, they pushed it open and were greeted by a narrow staircase leading underground. Following the path, they discovered a hidden chamber that held a long-forgotten secret. The room housed an old chest, tarnished with age. Inside, they found a relic of immense power, a pendant said to possess the ability to break curses and release trapped spirits. With trembling hands, they placed the pendant around Emma's neck, hoping it would free them from the mansion's clutches. As the, as the pendant adorned Emma's neck, a surge of energy coursed through her body. She closed her eyes and concentrated, channeling all her courage and determination into breaking the curse that bound them. A soft glow emanated from the pendant, illuminating the chamber with a warm, golden light. The whispers faded, the shadows receded, and the eerie sounds ceased. It was as if the mansion itself held its breath, anticipating the outcome. With a sudden burst of strength, Emma let out a resolute cry, commanding the curse to be broken. A powerful wave of energy radiated outward, shaking the very foundations of the old mansion. The doors swung open, the windows shattered, 
and the friends were bathed in a cleansing light that banished the darkness. Gasping for breath, they stumbled out of the mansion, feeling the cool night air against their faces. They stood in awe, witnessing the transformation of the once dilapidated estate into a beacon of restored beauty. The curse had been broken, and the mansion was finally at peace. Overwhelmed with relief and gratitude, the friends embraced each other tightly, knowing they had narrowly escaped a nightmarish fate. The experience had left them forever changed, their bond tested and strengthened in the crucible of fear. From that night on, they vowed never to forget the lesson they had learned. They understood the importance of heeding the warnings and respecting the forces that dwell beyond human comprehension. They shared a newfound appreciation for the fragile line between curiosity and recklessness. Years later, as adults, Emma, Lily, James, and Max returned to the town of Willowbrook to share their story with new generations. They hoped to serve as a reminder that some adventures are best left unexplored, and that it is wiser to cherish the safety of loved ones than to succumb to the allure of a night to regret. And so, the tale of that fateful night lived on, cautioning those who would listen to the power of choices, the strength of friendship, and the importance of heeding the warnings whispered by the shadows of the past. In the aftermath of their harrowing experience, the friends discovered that their night in the haunted mansion had left an indelible mark on each of them. Emma, once the embodiment of fearlessness, now carried a subtle wariness in her eyes, reminding her of the dangers that lurk in the unknown. Lily, always cautious and level-headed, had developed a newfound appreciation for the fragility of life and the importance of trust. James, who had often sought thrills and excitement, realized the consequences that could arise from reckless actions. He became an advocate for responsible adventuring, emphasizing the need for preparation, respect, and knowledge. Max, the quiet and introspective member of the group, found solace in the realm of the supernatural and dedicated himself to understanding the mysteries that lie beyond the veil. As the years passed, their friendship remained unbreakable. They supported and encouraged each other's personal growth, using their shared experience as a catalyst for positive change. Emma became an adventurer and author, using her stories to caution others about the perils of unchecked curiosity. Lily pursued a career in psychology, helping others overcome trauma and fear. James became a safety consultant, educating people on risk management and ensuring their adventures were as safe as possible. Max became a paranormal investigator, seeking to unravel the secrets of the spiritual realm while providing closure to those haunted by the supernatural. Together, they formed an organization called Night's Reflection, dedicated to promoting responsible exploration and sharing knowledge about the supernatural. They traveled the world, investigating legends and folklore, always mindful of the lessons they had learned that night in the haunted mansion. Their journey was not without its challenges as they encountered other cursed places and malevolent forces. But armed with their collective wisdom, resilience, and the pendant that had saved them, they faced every trial with unwavering determination. Their shared experience had not only shaped their own lives but had also touched the lives of many others. Through their books, lectures, and seminars, they inspired countless individuals to embrace a balanced approach to adventure, to honor the past, and to respect the unknown. The night they had once regretted had transformed into a catalyst for growth, purpose, and a shared mission. They had turned their regret into a force for good, ensuring that no one would have to face the same perils they had endured. And so, their story lived on, a testament to the transformative power of friendship, the importance of responsibility, and the ability to find purpose even in the darkest of nights. The night to regret had become a night of redemption, guiding others towards safer and more enlightened paths. Narrated by Buzz Stevens